talking about people move into the sand hills. Uh, indigo snakes historically, especially if their populations go above Orlando here up to Gainesville in southern Georgia, which is the limit of their range, they depend on gopher tortoises for overwintering dens uh, to stay underground. So if gopher tortoises are having problems or gopher tortoise communities have disappeared, there's no place for indigos to overwinter. Indigo snakes, uh, this is the eastern indigo snake. There's seven to nine different species that range uh, from here down into South America. And they're basically a tropical snake, and this is kind of the most northern place that they've made it to in their evolution. So we, uh, we're looking at a snake that uh, is very limited by winter temperatures, and they've adapted by that historically by forming a relationship with gopher tortoises and being able to overwinter and share the gopher tortoise dens with them during the winter time. So uh, habitat loss is huge. Uh, gopher tortoise population is another pressure. Habitat fragmentation is huge with these guys. And what I mean by habitat fragmentation is when you fragment the landscape with things like roads uh, and uh, agriculture and development, the decent amount of habitat for wildlife that's left is actually kind of these little islands. And so one of the big strategies is, is even if you have 5,000 acres or 20,000 acres someplace, you want to get corridors to kind of put these things together so that animals